So to create a filter for all of your alerts from Google Classroom, um, this is what you do. You go to your Gmail and go to settings and then settings again. Let's take a moment. Uh, and then we come here to filters. And you may already have some filters in place, but you can just create a new filter here. And you can have it from or to a particular email address or a subject or includes the words. Um, so you could, for example, put in there, if the email includes at classroom.google.com, which is the email that sends all of the alerts through to you, then you could create a filter for that. You might want it to skip the inbox and you might want to apply a label to that. So I'm going to choose a new label called Google Classroom. I can nest it under another topic if I want to, um, but I'm not going to worry at the moment. So I'm just going to have that as a new folder. And you'll see already that my Google Classroom has, a, has appeared here. You can also apply that filter to any previous emails. So that any that are already in your email address will be pulled through. Okay. Um, and then you just create the filter. And here we can see, if I go back to my inbox, the 17 emails that all were classroom related have all pulled through into my Google Classroom and they're not in my inbox. So it's an easy way of skipping your inbox and stopping it from getting up, clogged up, um, but then knowing where to go and you can just go in there and check on a daily basis to see whether there's any particular comments that you need to respond to. Okay, hope that helps.